Okay, here a video on the breaking apart of an object. I went and I loaded a image. Now we will go and select the image. Now we will go and path trace bitmap. And then we can set our settings to our liking that we see in the preview window if you want to have can maximize it now we can see if the lines are all connecting or not connecting and once we are satisfied with the result we click OK then we go back to our image and now we can go and take the image delete the image and now we are left with one object but in order for us to use this in ink stitch we will have to break this apart because it has multiple black objects i can scroll in a little here you can see this black line is one has to become one object this around the eye has to become one object and this has to become one object so we will have to break it apart for it to work because if i do now extension ink stitch troubleshoot object it will give me errors so now we will go and delete the troubleshoot we will go path break apart oh we first have to select it path break apart okay now what we see is the whole image is black it can be fixed this way but that takes a fair bit of work there is an easier way that you get right away better results and here on the bottom you can see there are at this moment 33 objects so we'll go and undo we will, what we'll do now is select it we go to fill and stroke and in the fill and stroke there are these two icons here at the right hand side what you want to do is select the second last icon and then go ink stitch Fill tools, break apart, fill objects. And then you can go simple. You go and apply. And then it will run. And then once that box disappears, then you can just close that window. And now in the... Oh. In the objects panel, I'll resize this window for a moment. Now we can see we have multiple paths one, two, and to see which one is which one, there you can see that is the inside of the eye, that is another object eye. So that way you can go and visualize for a moment what is what. Now these are all connected paths. And now we can go select all of them 
Oh, I'm missing one. Control. We want that one too yet. There we go. Now all the paths are selected. We go extension, ink stitch, troubleshoot, troubleshoot objects. All selected shapes are valid. And then we can go extension, ink stitch, params. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It uh, that will depend on also how large your your file is. There we go. There you have it. All ready to go. So and I know what now all what you need to do is you can rearrange your objects in order to get it sewing in a more efficient way. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope this will help you with the breaking apart of objects. It doesn't matter if you're using text or an image. It's all the same break apart. Okay, thanks for watching.